Oh, you did? Okay, which one? Yes, the one that, I guess you were introducing yourself. Actually, it's this one, the one that you posted here over here as well. Yes, okay. This one. And then what you want to do is you want to um, go into the settings and you want to make sure that the, the video is public. Unless, unless you meant to have it unlisted. I only did that because uh, it said that I checked a video, you know, on YouTube because I didn't know how to upload a video and it said do unlisted, but okay. Yeah, yeah, you did a great job. Just as far as, I think sometimes by default, especially in the beginning, as you start to build a channel, um, I think by default, as you upload, the default is unlisted. Okay. But you have to, you have to switch it to public. Okay. Because the only... The only folks who will actually see it are people that you share the link with. Okay. So just like over here, you share the link. So if I click on it, I can see it. But as far as if as far as anyone being on your channel, okay, they, they won't be able to see it. Okay. So I'll go back and do that. Yeah. 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 For sure. And then you do. I have to reload it here. Then no, no, no. You just okay. go into the settings. Um, in fact, I can show you on my end. Um, and you want to do a lot of this from a computer as well. You can upload it from your cell phone, um, like record the, record the video on your cell phone and then upload it to your YouTube channel. Okay. But after that, what I would do is I would come over to, to a computer and yeah. update all the settings on a computer. Okay. Because you just see, you have a completely different view of, of the dashboard. It's, it's very, it looks very different on, on a cell phone. For sure, yeah. Um, so on a computer, it'd be, it'd be much better. So when you're, when you're on here on YouTube, um, just make sure you click on your profile here and you can go to your channel okay. um, right there. Got it. And then once Got you're it. in your channel, you can click on customize channel. Yep. And then we click on video manager up here at the top. Yep. Okay. So video, video manager. And then all you're going to do is you're going to come over here and find that video and then, and then, edit, and then open it up to edit it. Okay. So here, let me give you an example. So you'll see your video right here. Yep. And all you want to do is you can either click on this right here, okay. scheduled. You can click on this, but what I would do is I would just simply click on this details, this pencil right here. Yep. And that's going to allow you to, to come into the full, the full settings of everything. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come down here. Where did it go? Um, they're always moving around the settings. But if I come up here, actually, it's right here. It should be under scheduled. Um, yeah, here we go. So okay. it's under save or publish. So you have yours under unlisted. Yeah. You want to just make sure it's public. Yeah. Okay. Do that. Yeah. So that. And then that, I don't need to reload it to Facebook, right? No, it's already it's already there. And, and is that pinned to the top correctly? Oh yeah, definitely. It's pinned oh, okay. to the top. But here's here's what you want to do as well. Um, you want to park the video on on both platforms. Okay. So in this case, now, now it's only, it's only when it comes to running a, running a Facebook ad, like if you actually plan on running an ad on this video, then you want it to, to be parked on Facebook, okay. not, not only on YouTube. Now you can always upload it to YouTube and share the link onto Facebook, just like you did. You can always do that, okay. but you won't be able to run a Facebook ad on that video. Is there any way to get rid of the YouTube URL there? Or is yeah. That just yeah, for sure. Um, is once you, once you bring that, once you come over here and post like, like you did, you posted the, the link. Yep. Once you post the link and you click enter, like yep. for example, let me give you, let me, let me just show you. So if I, if I copy this link and I come over here to Facebook or my business page or whatever, yep. and I just simply paste it, what you want to do is you want to paste it and then you want to hit enter. Yep. As you hit enter, this image, the text down here will pull up. And then what I can do is I can come up here and just delete and I can write out whatever I want. Shut up. Too easy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 But what I'm saying is the fact that sharing a YouTube link is, is, is good. But okay. what you want to do specifically for Facebook, specifically for Facebook, you want to simply take that same video and upload it to Facebook. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, so you'll have, 
you'll have a you'll have the you'll have the video parked on Facebook and you'll have it parked on YouTube. Yeah, which okay. it is now, right? Both. So, what's yeah. that? So that's what it is now. It's parked on Facebook and it's parked on YouTube. No, no, no. It's it's only parked on YouTube. You shared it to Facebook. Oh. So so what that so that's what I'm saying. Don't 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 just do that. What you want to do is you want to oh. upload it to Facebook as well. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't just share the YouTube link. Okay. So let me give you an example. Here's my page over here. Yes, sir. And I have I share a bunch of YouTube videos over here. So let me show you an example. So here's my YouTube video. So just like yeah. you, I shared I shared my YouTube link. That's yep. what I did, just like you did. But this video up here, I simply took the video and I uploaded it to Facebook. Got it. So just like you uploaded it to YouTube, I'm going to also upload it to Facebook. Okay. So now, go to the home, home screen and then upload it there. Yes, exactly. Okay. So just like, cool. you, just like you would post anything on Facebook, okay. same exact way you post that video. Okay. Cool. But you post it on your business page. Post it on your business page first and then you can share it to your personal page. Okay. So, so yeah, you always want to upload it here first, just like this. This is a video that I uploaded to Facebook. Yeah. And, and the reason for it is because I'm running a Facebook ad on it. So if I plan on running Facebook ads on any of my videos, that video has to be on Facebook, not on YouTube. Super. Now, now again, it can be on YouTube, but, and, and you can always share it to your Facebook. You just won't be able to run an ad on it. Got it. It has to be uploaded to Facebook, just like this one. Got it. Okay. So that's, that's what I would do with, with, your, um, with your video over on your business page is I, I wouldn't necessarily share the YouTube video and, and, and um, pin that. I would, I, would, I would do exactly what I showed you. I would upload that video to Facebook. Yep. And then I would pin that. Yep. So you, you pin, you pinned a YouTube video, which is fine. You could totally do that. But I'm just saying, if we plan on running an ad on it, you won't be able to run an ad on it. Yeah. And I'm not going to run an ad on that one, but okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, but however, the, these videos right here, Jay, I'm telling you, that's all it takes, man. That is your ad. All, all this takes rather than, and I touched on this on our first call, rather than thinking you need to post everywhere. Rather than think you thinking you have to be omnipresence on every platform and, and posting on LinkedIn and Instagram and your personal page and your Facebook business page, rather than thinking all that, I'm telling you, it's easier than you can, than you can imagine. It literally comes down to one video like this per week that yep. you're running a Facebook ad on targeting your local area. Yep. That is it, man. Like that is all there is to it. That's it. That's it. Like that, I'm trying to keep it that simple. That is it. If you were to do that, you'd be getting more deals than you can possibly handle. Now, yeah. now in your case, are you are you dealing nationwide? Or are you just in your state? You're, you're just Illinois, in Indiana, and I focus on the Chicago market. See, if if you were running a if you were running one weekly video just like that, and you were running it every week, a different video, one every week. So let's just say, for example, every Friday you go live with a new video and yep. that's a, that's a Facebook ad and you target Chicago. Yep. You would crush it, Jay. Like you would crush it. You would crush it. It'd be, it'd, it'd be so much more easier for you to manage this entire social media thing because as you start to post everywhere, it becomes overwhelming and it's a waste of time. Yeah. If yeah. you just focus in and, and do one video per week and run it as an ad and target Chicago, that, that, that's all you need to do. Like, that's it. That's literally it. You take that same video. There's two places you're, you're parking it. You're parking it on Facebook and you're parking it on YouTube. Yeah. If you did that, man, you, you, you take over. That, that's all there is to it. And, and when it comes to these Facebook ads, you want to budget at least at least to start a minimum of at least three hundred a month, like yes. three hundred a month is what I what I mentioned last time. Yep. So, ten dollars a day, that video is running for seven days, and you're targeting Chicago. Yep. The following week, you do another video. 
you're targeting Chicago. $10 a day, seven days, and you keep going. You just keep going. You just keep doing that. You want to you wanna be omnipresent to everyone in Chicago. Yep. That's how it happens. All right. You know, and, and, and even with YouTube, like, although YouTube is, is, is a very, very, very powerful platform, what ends up happening on YouTube is that we build, we build a YouTube channel, like over here on, you know, on my channel. You, as you start to build a YouTube channel, the thing that really, that it really takes over here is, is consistency. So just like I'm telling you with the Facebook, you know, ad, yeah. you want to run one every week, you know, consistently, but with YouTube, it's very similar where you want to upload at least, at least a minimum of, I mean, you want to do at least a minimum of two videos per week minimum minimum like over here on my channel i literally upload a video every day i know you're an animal so, and and all i do is i i have i i just i just document jay like i document most yeah. people are trying to create most people try to find that best picture the best positioning the best lighting the best you know background everyone yeah. on social media is thinking that we care like no one cares first of all no one cares yeah. and, and most people are, are are trying to trying to find that perfect video or image when no one no one even cares yeah yeah they're trying to create they're trying to create magic they're trying to create this perfect image or this perfect video what you want to do is yeah. just document document that's why i love what you did over here you're just documenting you're out there in the backyard. Looks like you're just hanging out with the family. Beautiful day. You're just documenting, like yeah. you're not creating. Now, it may have ta you may have sat back and, and 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 thought about that for a few minutes. You might have thought about that for a few days. Okay, cool. In a couple of days, I'm gonna go out to the backyard and I'm gonna talk about this. It, you probably thought about it, but at the end of the day, you could have thought of that one minute prior. Like, there's so many videos where I think of something one minute. And one minute later, I'm pulling out my cell phone, no matter where the heck I'm at. I can be in the parking lot. I could be driving in the car. I could be at my, my son's school. It does not matter. I'm simply pulling out my phone all of a sudden because I have an idea. I'm pulling out my phone and I'm talking about it. Yeah. That is simply documenting. Yeah. You want to document. Don't think you need to create. Just whatever you're doing, day in the life of Jay. As yeah. you're funding a deal, pull out your phone and talk about it. As you just locked a rate, for a client, pull out your phone and talk about, hey guys, this is Jay. Just want to share with you. I just got off the phone with one of our clients and we were able to lock in a 2.9. You guys have no idea how, many, how much money this, this, this client's going to save over the next 30 years. They're super fired up. Document. All we're doing is documenting. I love that. You know, we're documenting. We're not creating. We're documenting. You can be in the conference room. You could be in the office. You could be at home. You could be drinking your morning coffee. It's documenting. Yeah. That's social media. And so... If you can do that, you know, once per week on your cell phone, but actually bring value, right? We're not, we're not documenting, you know, as we're actually, you know what, to tell you the truth. Yes, we are documenting that too. Documenting when you're taking the dogs out. Hey guys, this is Jay just on a morning stroll with my three dogs here. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about the market and where interest rates are headed right now. Like it's simple, Jay, like it's, it's documenting. Yeah. But, but, it's but, but my point is. Me. My point is, is that you're staying on topic, you're yeah. staying on topic and you're educating, you're bringing value and, yeah. and it's in, it's, it's short form. It's not like it's a long form 30 minute video where I'm, you know, conducting a, a, a seminar. No, it's, yeah. it's just a two minute short form video that I'm educating and, 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 and staying on topic. And, and, and at the end of every video, every video from, from video number two and on at the end of every video, there's a call to action. And hey guys, if by the way, if you click learn more, it will take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free 2020 home buyer guide on what it takes to qualify for your next mortgage. See you guys there. Yeah. So at the end at the end of every video, there's a call to action to download your free PDF, your free guide, your free home buyer guide, your free interest rate guide, whatever guide you want to put together. But that becomes your bait. And that becomes the call to action after every single video that has to be at the end of every video. All right. So, so if, 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 if you can do that, 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 that's how you, that's how you win. You're educating people on the, on the front end through that video, 
it's always Jay. Hey, there goes Jay again. He's in my news feed. I'm not friends with him. I don't like his business page. I don't know him, but he keeps showing up in my news feed. Yeah. And he lives a couple miles away. And this guy keeps educating me on mortgages. Let me see what he's doing. Yeah. And, and so not only are you educating and, and, and grabbing people's attention on the front end, which is the video, but you're also giving them something of value on the back end. Yeah. And, and, and it's that back end through that CRM, through that email autoresponder that you build a relationship with people, just like with you, Jay, these emails that I'm sending you. Yeah. Right? You're, you're, you're opening them up. You're opening up. You're clicking on these emails that I'm sending you because I, I could track it all through my email system, right? Yeah. And, 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 and that's nurturing the list. That's, that's building a relationship. That's getting Jay more value via email. So after I capture him on the front end, I'm now nurturing him on the back end via email. And in those emails, I'm also getting people to schedule an appointment, right? Yeah. That's yeah. those emails that you're getting from me. So at the end of, so if, if you're watching any of these videos that I'm sending you via email after you downloaded the book, in each video, what am I telling you? I'm telling you, hey guys, and by the way, click the button below, It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a call. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's all I'm doing is I'm getting you on the front end by giving you something. And then, and then on the back end, I'm, I'm simply educating you and bringing more value. But the call to action is to get you to schedule the call. So the front end, the video, the call to action is to get you to click learn more, to download the book, to download my PDF, to download my free home buyer guide. And then on the back end via email, my call to action in these emails, whether it's a video like I do via email or whether it's just text via email. The whole call to action in the in in the emails is to get you to click the calendar to schedule a call. Yeah. So it all starts with a weekly ad targeting Chicago. If you can keep that up consistently, then the whole back end becomes full. That funnel is always full, and people are scheduling appointments. Yeah. That's that's I just. To, uh, I need to get that Wix or not that Wix, but I need to really get out of Wix and do that Carta. Yeah, the Kartra. Kartra is, is, I mean, I've seen every platform under the sun and, and Kartra, it's not, that it's, it's not that it's better. I mean, if I just sit here and, you know, convince you how it's better. It has the calendar and it has the tools. Yeah, it has the tools. That's what we need. The three main tools that we need is we need an online calendar, we need an email autoresponder, and we need landing pages. Yes. Those are the three. And if it wasn't for Kartra, those three would all be individual, separate services, separate yeah. monthly bills. That's what everybody pays. So yeah. nine out of 10 marketers on the internet that are actually trying to capture leads pay three different companies. Because if, if they're not aware of Kartra, they're paying. That's just how it always been. We pay 100 bucks a month for landing pages. And then we pay 50 bucks a month for our email autoresponder. And then we pay another 30 bucks a month for our calendar. That's how it, yeah. all, that's how it is. Yeah. But yeah, but with Kartra, it's all in one for, a, for I think it's like $99 a month. Um, yeah. And there's a 14 day trial. But anyone that I, that I refer to that software, Jay, I end up giving all, I end up giving them all my time for free. Yeah. So not only are you going to have a great software, but you can always reach out to me. We can always jump on a call. Uh, in fact, I'm in a Kartra account right now. I'm looking at different, this is for another client of mine. Um, I'm looking at different you know, functions, I'm, I'm helping them switch out their, their funnels and email automation. So I can always jump on with you and, yeah. and give you my time and help you with it. So that's awesome. That's an added benefit for sure. Cause no software is going to, is going to do that. So not only do you have my time for free with, with Kartra, but we also have two trainings every week. So every Tuesday and Thursday at um, 4 PM awesome. Eastern time, Kartra support does a live Q and a, where it's, it's them on screen share, just like this. And they're just answering questions. Hey, how do you do a landing page? Hey, how do you set up an email autoresponder? Hey, how do you change the colors on a page? Like any random question that people have, they, they jump on for an hour and they just walk us through everything. That's awesome. So that is tremendous support. Like no yeah. software company does that. No, none of these none, Wix, like ClickFunnels, none of these, none of these other landing page companies do that. So, so that's amazing. Um, but that, that, that's needed for those that are running Facebook ads. If you're not running Facebook ads or any type of ads like that, to tell you the truth, you don't, you don't need it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you yeah, don't, you, go ahead. no, I'm just saying you, you, you won't need to be spending a hundred bucks a month. I, I would say don't even get it. If you're, if you're not really going to be running ads. Well, I, I'm, I'm committed to getting it. It's just, I want to get the uh, page likes up 
Yes. And, you know, maybe I'll run the Wix thing for three months or something like that in order to start to build some, some money in the pocket so I can spend the 300 bucks and then, you know, jump on Kartra. But I need to, you know, I need to fund some deals. I'm just being Yes, honest. for sure. For sure. So I got, I got two things and then I need you to uh, help me wrap up because I'm my yes. boss left and he's throwing all of his 550 credit score shit to me. Oh man. Oh <laughs> man. Work on my butt off. <laughs> hey, did you see my, uh, can I share my screen? Yes, oh, no, definitely. first of all, I don't see my like ad on my Facebook page. Let me, um, can you see my screen? I see you. And some demo um, right there. Let me pull it up. We'll start seeing like a an increase over the next over the next couple of days. Saturday, Sunday, we'll start to see an actual um, increase. Let me know if you can see my screen. I, I see your picture and my name. Let me share the screen again. Okay, so here's yes. your actual like it. So it's running it's running on my side, but it's running from your page. Ah, love it. So you won't you won't see it on your side. But I sent. Did you get my email? I sent you a picture of it. I sure did. Oh, sure awesome. Did. Yeah. Let me show you what it looks like as it, as it goes live. So it, it's live now, but we'll start to see an increase over, over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and we'll see an increase fast. Like it's not a long-term ad. It's like in a few days, we'll be at our, we'll be at our goal, but this is, this is the back end of it. So as I click on this and I, and I look at it in the newsfeed, here's what it looks like in the newsfeed. So as people are scrolling through, oh, they nice. come across the ad. Yep. And then if I unlike the page, this is what it really looks like. If I unlike this. Mm. So just like, as I mentioned in every other, in every video, every ad, it's all about clicking, learn more. Yeah. With the yeah. like ad, it's like page. Yep. So people come across this love real estate, like page and share. Awesome. And so, and so we'll start to see that climb up, climb up this weekend. Okay. And then, um, for the, uh, YouTube, did you see my uh, thank you video? This one right here? No. Let me show you. I'm going to jump on, share the screen. Uh, yes. Um, see that? Go ahead, and, go ahead and try sharing again. Just a quick shout out. Hello. Try sharing again. I'm trying to, but I it doesn't come up on the bottom. Let's see. No, not that video. Perfect spot for us from last What's the deal? Um, over here? You see it? No, click on the green button again, the share screen. Yeah. Yeah. I see you. Yeah, you may have to share screen again. Okay. Start video, no. Also very satisfying. Uh, hmm. and, uh, the process. So, I'm licensed in Illinois and in Indiana. If there's anything I can do to help, I hate the sound of my own voice. Give me a show. No. Bye for now. I'm sorry, David. I'm an no, no worries, no worries. <clears throat> I just did a thank you video that. Uh, and it doesn't come up though on the bottom. That's maddening. I go like this, like uh, this. Now, do you see anything? Um, no, not yet. Oh, never. Never mind. I'm stupid. There we go. All right. Got so, it. you see this screen over here? Yes. Okay. So there, I, that's the form. You've already seen that. Mm-hmm. And then if I say, send me my free analysis, goes here. Thank you for your request. And then I recorded this quick. Awesome. Hi, this is Jay. Thanks for requesting your free buy versus rent analysis. I prepare each analysis for the individual that requested the information. So if I don't happen to be in the office at the moment, it may be a couple of hours before I get your report prepared. When you get your report, you'll find that it's loaded with lots and lots of solid financial information to help you make a decision whether buying a home or continuing to rent is right for you. If you have any questions at any time, I've put my contact information below. Feel free to give me a call or certainly be checking your email for your free analysis report. Bye for now. 
Love it. That was it. Does this always come up? Um, yes, when it's on YouTube. Okay. So if anything, can you upload a video to Wix? Uh, yes, probably. I'll have to check on that. Yes. You may be able to, you may not be able to, but, but yeah, def definitely check. If, if anything, that could, be, that could be a video that's just on Wix. Yep. Um, therefore, they don't see all that. I'm going to give you back the control. So, you know, that's where I'm at. I, I, you know, I'm with you hundred percent. I mean, I, I really, I dig your character. I, I love talking to you. You're very personable. That's what I need. Thank you. Jay. Thank you. I'm you with know, you, man. I'm with you. Let's I, do this. Yeah. I talked to an attorney yesterday and I said, man, I need a, or a realtor. I said, I need a re realtor referral to an attorney because I need one of these idiots I can talk to. Yeah. <laughs> that's the whole thing. It's all communication with me. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm available, man. I'm available, Jay. So just, you know, reach out if you ever have any questions or, or, you know, ready to take on the next step. I, I can either, I'd, either, I'd love to either teach you to run these Facebook ads yourself, or maybe just help you in the beginning, get it started until you start cranking. But that's where your ROI is going to be, man, is when you start targeting Chicago and taking them to a landing page to capture the lead. Is your compensation, David, is it driven by Kartra subscription? On the Kartra how, side, how are you yes. Compensated? Yeah, on the Kartra side, yes. They there's an affiliate program where they just simply sent they just simply give me a referral fee, not yeah. much at all. But 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 that's it's a residual. So my whole job with Kartra is to help people succeed with it, so they end up keeping it, and my residual income keeps building. Um, in fact, I did a video a couple of days ago on my YouTube channel. Um, in fact, it's this one over here, um, passive income. Yeah. This one is where I'm talking about how I make, you know, just a passive income on these, on these, on this basic software. Sure. Um, as I refer it to people and get my clients on it. So yeah, that, that's my incentive over here on Kartra to help you be awesome. successful with Kartra. So you're, you know, you yeah. keep it. What I, what I do do though, is I, I coach on Facebook ads. So mm -hmm. there's two types of clients that end up coming back. So after we do the like ad, there's two types that come back. One, okay. one type of client will come back and say, David, I'm ready for step three. I'm, re I'm ready to start running these weekly ads to my city. Can you coach me and teach me how to do them? Yeah. And that's where I have a coaching program. Not a lot at all. A few hundred bucks where we set yeah. up a handful of coaching calls and I teach you how to run these ads yourself. Yep. That's person number one. The one that actually wants to learn how to do it themselves. Okay. And then person number two is the obvious. That's the person who doesn't want to do it themselves, but they just want to delegate it to someone else. Yeah. And so that's when they end up just bringing me on for a monthly retainer, not a whole lot at all, a few hundred a month. Um, yeah. That's when they bring me on and they just delegate everything to me. And what I end up doing is I end up running all their Facebook ads for them. They don't have to touch a thing. All they have to do is, is upload one video per week and that is it. You don't touch anything else. So what I end up doing on a retainer is I'll run all their Facebook ads. I'll make sure leads are coming in and I'll manage their entire Karcher account. That's the, ultimately, I want to baby step and do that. I want to get to that point. Yeah. So that, I mean, here's the honest to God on it. You've been at LO. So yes. you know that once you start to get above 10 or 12 uh, apps a, a month, mm -hmm. you know, you're really at a point where, you know, you're pushing it to keep things going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the manager that is on vacation, he does 30, maybe 35 a month. I love you know? it. That's and crushing it. He is crushing it and he doesn't do much of this stuff at all. Mostly just, you know, crap that he throws out there about his horse or whatever, but he's got, you know, a business that just keeps going, but he's been doing it for 26 years. I haven't. How does he get his business? Is it just by, at this point, is it just word of mouth? Oh, he's got so many realty referrals and he's on the South side of Chicago. If you gotcha. know that, it's very clicky and he just, you know, he's one of those South siders and, just he rolls. Wow. Right on, man. That's, that's crushing it. When we were, when we were doing deals, we thought 20 a month was a good number. You know, we thought we were crushing it at 20 a month, but someone at 30 plus that's, that's killing it. Yeah. He's an animal and he's, he's a great coach for me. I mean, he's taken me under good, his wings, man. you know, so that's why I just, I'm tired of being just one of the guys. Yes. Yes, right. time, yeah, time to take it up. Time to, time. Well, see, here's the deal. I mean, you got, you got old school, 
you know, brokers and, and, and whether they're a realtor and they've been in the business forever or an LO and they've been in the business forever or anyone in insurance broker been in the business forever, forever. You have these, these, these guys that have been in the business forever and have it like that. And that's great. But today, if we're going to do any marketing at all, I'm just convinced that it's here on social media. And if we're a local business, it's through Facebook advertising. Yeah. That's just, that's just what I'm convinced on. I'm just, you know, yeah. I'm a marketer, but I'm, I'm, I'm obviously a businessman as well. And, and I just see where, where the, where the attention is at. So if I don't have a huge book of business or if I'm not partnered with a bunch of referral agents, I have to market somehow, some way it has to be on social media. If I'm only building a local business, it has to be through a Facebook ad. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that's, that's just what I, what I pitch, you know, it has to be, it has to be. Unless well, we're nationwide, if we're a nationwide brand and we're dealing yeah. and we're taking on clients everywhere, then yeah. building a social media brand as far as posting on every platform and Jay's active on Instagram, he's active on LinkedIn, he's active on Twitter, on Facebook, on his business page. If you were taking on clients from all over the country, but if you're yeah. only taking on clients or, or I should say, if you, if you prefer to only take clients in Chicago, for example, then it's a Facebook ad 100%. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so I mean, kudos to that guy for crushing it like that, but for everybody else that actually has to market, we got it. We got to do something. That's 1% of the LOs out there, you know, oh, yeah, for sure. do one to two a month and they just kind of limp along. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that don't work. Um, and here's my, uh, my last question. And then I got to run and I, I surely apologize for that. No worries. Jay. Um, I have a realtor that I really like, mm -hmm. and she's somewhat in the same position that I am. She's committed. She, you know, her and I are both Homes for Heroes affiliates, you know, where we give up part of our compensation mm. to bring these Homes for Heroes into their, their home. And uh, I think it'd be kind of fun to entertain the idea of her and I starting up our own Facebook page and then rolling on to you, give it to you and just let you run a you know, realtor lender page. Is that something Man, you think that would work? You you guys would actually, you, you got, yeah. I mean, yes. And you guys would crush it because you guys can piggyback off each other. You guys can do videos together and, and talk about that whole process with the lender and the, and, and the agent. Like there's so many creative ideas that you guys could talk about and, and, and get on video. Yeah, and, I haven't and, talked to her about it, but I'm thinking that would be super fun and it would be a way to mm -hmm. not always have to be the one that's, you know, on the spot for a new video or whatever, you know, we yes. can feed off each other. Yes. That that you guys would do very, very well. I haven't I have not seen and I and, and I'm telling you, Jay, like trust me when I'm saying this. This is a fact. At this point, since just since just twenty sixteen alone, I've literally looked at tens of of thousands of yeah, Facebook yeah. business pages. Like yeah. literally, I'm not joking. Tens of thousands, yeah. not thousands, not hundreds, tens of thousands of Facebook business pages for real estate agents. Yeah. And I haven't seen one page like that where, it, where it's an agent and a lender or an LO. Like I haven't yeah. seen one single page like that. Yeah. So that's very unique, very, very, you know, creative. And I, I love that idea. Yeah. Well, I'd like to keep mine separate and then I'd like to do that one as well. Yeah, for sure. For so, sure. so here's a, I think where you're going to go and I'll go to is um, once we hit a thousand likes, then we need to get back on a call and strategize next step. Yeah. Yes. Because the likes are one thing like those likes are going to come from everywhere. We're targeting all of Facebook. We're targeting everyone yeah. on Facebook who fits the interests of home ownership. So that's a very general broad ad. That's not where our leads are coming from. We're going to get that like number high so we can have just the credibility of, on the page. But after that, yes, it's, it's back on to strategize for these weekly ads. Yes. And, and I'm telling you, it's that simple. That video right there, man, that's all you got to do. Like, that's all you yeah. got to do. Even the one in the, in, in the, um, it, on the thank you page with you inside of the, in, was that your home office? Yeah. Like, that right there is perfect. Like that, that's perfect stuff, man. One minute, two minute, three minute videos of teaching me something in the process of, you know, purchasing i just got to get a little more loose it's a little stiff but you know I jay just, you're already there man you're already there you're already yeah. there i can't imagine what your, your what your third fourth fifth sixth and seventh video is going to look like because that one was great yeah I'm good and, and i'm telling you man i i've been doing i have over here on this youtube channel i have almost 800 videos 
So trust me when I say what I say, what I say, like this is all it takes. You don't need yeah. anything more fancier than that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's do that. I mean, I don't want to blow smoke. I, I really want to do this. I want to make this, you know, like my number one and maybe my only uh, advertising and expenses is all going to be into this, creating these funnels and getting on Kartra and working That's with Aura. Yes. Do it. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. So stay in touch. Email me, message me. Yep. Um, we'll jump on anytime. And, and I'm, I'm excited to see you grow on social media. Got it. Thank you, brother. Yes, God sir. Bless. Right on, Jay. All right, brother. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank you, Bye. sir. Bye-bye.